Hi, good, good afternoon, everyone. This is a video from your Varian. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do today is continue with Varian workbook chapter uh, of exchange, right? And uh, you remember that in the last two lectures, we have gone ahead and we have uh, done this question related to Morris Zapp and Philip Swallow. And what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do today is I'm going to continue solving this question, okay? So, so you can refer to the first two videos that I've already covered uh, to get an understanding of what this question is. And then today, let us go ahead and look with this, look ahead with this question. Okay. So, so if you notice, we had done uh, till part uh, C. Today, I'm going to go ahead and begin with part D. So it says, it says, um, at the equilibrium price you found in the last part of the question, which means the equilibrium price that we had found out, it was that price of wine was also one and price of book was also one. This is what we had found out, right? It says, what is the value of Philip Swallow's initial endowment? So if you go back to his endowment bundle, the endowment bundle of Philip was 20 books and 30 bottles of wine. So if I just go ahead and do this, 20 PB plus 30 PW. So this is going to be 20 into 1 plus 30 into 1. And this is going to go ahead and give you 50. So we see that the value of his initial endowment is going to be 50. And that's the answer to this question. At these prices, Philip will choose to consume how many books and how many bottles of wine. Now, <clears throat> Now, here is the thing. See, when I talk about the utility function of Philip, Philip's preferences are subtle and convex and he has a Cobb Douglas utility function, BW, right? Now, now, here is the thing. Either you solve the entire thing, which I will do for you today, but in the future, you need to also remember a formula that I'm going to give today. So, whenever your utility function is of the form x, y. In this case, it's bw. I will take it as bw only. Then what do you do really? You have to go ahead and find MRS, right? So because I'm taking b on the x-axis and w on the y-axis, this is and this is my indifference curve of Philip, suppose. So my MRS bw will be mu b upon m u w. So you have to differentiate this utility function with respect to b and then you have to differentiate this utility function with respect to w. When you differentiate this with respect to b, you will get w. And when you differentiate it with respect to w, you will get b. Then what you should be doing is you should be equating the MRS to the price ratio. So b, p, p, b by p, w. So, which means that my W by B will be equal to 1 by 1, which implies my W will be equal to B will be equal to, that's it. W and B will be equal. Okay. Now, you put it in the budget line. So, what is the equation of your budget line, beta? Budget line is going to be price of book into the number of books plus price of wine into the number of wine is equal to income of Philip. And what is the income of Philip? Income of Philip is 50, right? So into the income of Philip, which is going to be 50. So 1 into B plus 1 into W will be 50. But B and W are equal from this equation. So I know that B plus B will be 50. And why am I able to do this? Since I have found out that B and W are equal from equation 1. So I will get 2B is equal to 50. And I will get B as 25. So W will also be 25. Right? But, but, 
Now I'm going to give you a general formula to solve these Cobb Douglas functions. So whenever you have these Cobb Douglas functions, like you have utility function as x to the power alpha, y to the power beta, and you have to maximize your utility subject to your budget constraint, then bache, the x star will be alpha upon alpha plus beta m by px. And y star will be beta upon alpha plus beta m by p y. So if in our case, our utility function is b w, so b will be power kya hoge beta? 1 and 1. So b will be 1 upon 1 plus 1. Income kitna nikala tha humne? 50. Income is always from endowment. Price of good x kya nikala tha? 1. So this is going to be 1 by 2 into 50. So this will be 25. Similarly, your W will be beta upon alpha plus beta m by p y. Price of y also is 1. So it will be half into 50, which will be 25. So from here also, we get that he will choose 25 units of books and 25 units of wine. If Morris Zapp consumes all of the books and all of the wine that Philip doesn't consume, he will consume what? So now just think about this. This is also simple. So now, <clears throat> now if I just go back to my part one, okay, how much is the total wine that I have? 40. That's the total wine I have. How much is the total book I had? 80. How much is Philip consuming? Philip is consuming 25 units of wine. Philip, this is consumption. Right? And he's consuming 25 units of book. So how much am I left with? 15 and 55. So Morris is going to go ahead and consume 15 units of wine and 55 units of the book. Is this clear to everyone? Okay, let's go to the next question. At competitive equilibrium price, you found above Morris income is. So how can we find the income of Morris? So Morris <clears throat> endowment bundle was 10, 60, 10 wine and 60 books. So how can we find the income of Morris? 10 and 60 into, so 10 units of wine, right? So price of wine into price of book. So 10 into 1 plus 60 into 1, that is going to be 70. So his income is going to be 70. Therefore, at these prices, the cost of Morris consuming all books and all the wine that Philip doesn't consume is same. Na? So he is, so consumption can always take place from income. So your consumption bundle should lie on the budget line. It should cost you exactly equal to your income. So if you notice, he's consuming 55 books and 15 wine. Okay, ji. So 15 wine, 55 books. Each unit of wine is priced at 1. So into 1. Each unit of book is at 1. So this will also give you 70. So we see that this also comes down as exactly the same as his income at this price. Can Morris afford a bundle he likes better than 55, 15? His preferences are monotonic. Monotonic ke liye, which bundle will be preferred over 55, 15? So please write down. If a bundle must be preferred over 55, 15, this is on the budget line. It means it should have Either more of good X, so more of good wine for same number of books, or more books for same wine. So either I need to increase this or this or both. But this bundle itself is costing me inco income. Yehi bundle ki cost 70 rupees hai. So if I consume anything more than this, suppose I tell you I want 56 units and 15 of this. 
this bundle will be preferred over this, but it will be more than my income. Similarly, suppose I tell you 55, 16. This bundle will be preferred over this, but it will cost me 71 rupees. My income is 70 rupees. So I cannot go ahead and consume anything more than my income. That will not be possible. I hope this is clear to you. So I'll stop here for today. And then in the next video, we'll pick up on the next question. Okay, thank you.